What is going on guys? This is Sky Vault and welcome to this episode on how to render and load tile maps in Love 2D. So, starting off today, we're going to be uh, loading a tile map. We're going to be rendering it, like I said, and kind of going over what, you know, all that entails. So, first off, what is Tiled? So, Tiled is this really fantastic program that um that I've been using for many years and it's mainly used for creating uh tile tile maps. So if you have your uh, if you have a game that um, uses tile maps, uh, I highly recommend Tiled. I think it's the best one out there, and it's very easy to use when it comes to Love 2D, and uh, it has support for many, many, many other frameworks and all of that. So this is Love 2D right here. First things first, before we get um, loading the tile maps, let's actually create one. So first off, we need to create a tile set. A tile set basically just defines the uh, um, a set of tiles that you would use for the map. Uh, so let me go into Love2D. Uh, this is the tile right here, and this is our tile, uh, tile set. The tile width is 16 by 16 pixels. And then this is just where we're going to save it. So we're going to save it in the same location. Whoops, I went too far. Let's go back to... Uh, Let's go back to Dustin, let's go back to, let's go to Documents, Love to D, there we go. We're just going to save it right here. Now uh, this is the tile map that we're going to be using. It's pretty simple, um, all the tiles are defined there. So now that we have a tile map, let's actually create a, uh, well, now that we have a tile set, now let's create a tile map, I should say. And we're going to make it 16 by 16 tiles big, tile size is 16 by 16. We're going to use CSV. It's going to be orthogonal, that so you can use orthographic and all that. And we're just going to save it in the same location. We're going to name it, let's just name it Tile Map. Just like that. Alright, so here's our Tile Map. This is where we can draw out our game, essentially. So, let's just keep it really simple. Let's just draw a couple shapes here, just to test things out. Later on, we're going to be able to do things like um, add a, adding animations and stuff like that. I'm going to name this right here floor. Let me make this a little bit bigger. And uh, let me move this down here. And for the floor, we're just going to fill with just a nice grid here. Or we're just going to do an outline. So as you can see, you can draw lines. It's a very nice map editor. Anyway, this is our dor uh, dorky little map right here. Now, to be able to use this in Love2D, we want to, for one, we need to embed the tile map. So this button right here embeds the tile map. So this basically makes it so that there's not two separate files. There's not a tile set um, and a tile map. This will basically combine the two files together. And that makes things a lot simpler for us. And then we're going to click Control E, or if you uh, if you want, you can go over here. You're going to say Export, and we're going to export it as a Lua table. And this makes it super easy to load. So we're just going to name it TileMap.Lua. We're going to save. Okay, so this right here is the project. Let me just uh, let me just show, show you it. Um, all we have is a config file, a main file, make file, and the maps that we just loaded right here. So let's actually um, let me quit this. Let's actually flesh out our program a little bit. So let's create a function for loading. And we're only going to need the uh, draw function down here. So we're going to say love.draw. All right, now we're going to make a new file. We're going to name it uh, tiled. Let's do it tile map. And we're going to make a Lua uh, file. Now we're just going to make a global function to actually load this tile map. So let's name it load tiled map. Right inside here is going to be the path to the map, and then we're going to make a, uh, whoops, whoops, I'm going into documentation right here, whoops, alright, when you are when you use uh, caps lock and vim, it can do some weird stuff. Um, so we're going to say local map is equal to require path. Now remember path, uh, or uh, the tile map that we generated right here, this thing is just a big Lua table, so we can just load it in like a uh, any other file. So let me, let me go back to tiled map right here, and let's just return map. All right, let's go back to the main file, and up here, let's require tiled map, and let's say, uh, let's make a global right here, or actually, let's just do it in the uh, load function. So we're going to make a global map, you're going to set it equal to load 
tile map. And then the tile map is named tile map, if you remember correctly. Alright, so now if we run this, we will see just nothing happens. It's a blank screen, we don't get a warning, but we did load up the tile map. So if we go back to tile map file right here, we can, uh, well, first off, okay, first off, let's open up the, uh, the map that we created. So that is tilemap.lua. I probably shouldn't name these differently because they're very close to each other. But anyway, so this is this is what we're gonna have to work with right here. This is the tile map data that was generated, and uh, all those numbers correspond to tiles on this map right here. So first things first, let's just uh, let's create a render function or a draw function. So we're gonna say map colon draw. All right, let's go to the main file and actually call this. So we're gonna call on uh, the global map. Whoops. I'm just to say draw right here. All right, so to actually draw this thing, we need to generate some uh, quads. Now, quad, if you remember in Lua, is basically just represents where um, it represents where on in an image and how big a sprite is on an image. So, if you remember each one of these uh, tiles right here, this is the image. These are all separated into uh, quads right here. See this little rectangle. So we want to basically tell Love2D where this is and how big it is. And to do that, we can use a uh, we can use a table. So we're going to say map.quads equal to the table. Now we want to uh, actually let me go let me scroll up to the top here. We want to look at our tile set. So here's our tile set. It gives us all the information about our image: the tile width, the tile height, uh, the image file, the width and the height. This width and height height is really important for right now. So we're going to say local tile set. So let's get the main tile set and that is stored in map that tile sets and it's the first one. Now first off let's just print out tile set dot image width. And I have a little bit of a typo here. Image width. So if we just run this you'll see that we get 255 uh, 256 right there. And that's exactly what we expect. So now let uh, let's generate those quads. So we want to say for x, or actually sorry, for y is equal to 0, uh, y is less than tile set, or sorry, I, I forgot how to do this in Lua, image height. So we're going to go from uh, 0 to image height minus 1, do. Now we want to say for x is equal to 0, tile set dot image width minus one and actually we need to uh, surround these in quotes because we don't want to loop through per pixel we want to loop per tile so if we want to do that we need to say uh, tile set dot tile height we need to divide it by the tile height right there just like that and let's make sure to end all right, so now we can say lo uh, the quad is equal to love dot graphics dot new quad. The x coordinate is going to be x times uh, tile set dot m uh, tile uh, width. The y coordinate is going to be tile set dot tile height or times tile set dot tile height. Now the uh, the width and the height, of course, is tile set dot tile width. We're going to copy that, replace this with height, and then tile set dot image uh, width, and then oops, let's change that to height right there, and there we go. Now we should have our quads or this quad loaded up. Now we want to do um, uh, table dot insert. We want to insert this quad into the quads array. Alright, there we go. So, now we have all the quads loaded up. Now that we can we can actually index into this array using the uh, this map right here. This map data right here. So 98 would be the 98th quad in quads right there. Alright, so let's actually do some drawing right now. So we want to loop through, let's actually look at what we're working with. So 
Um, this map has a table called layers, and for each layer, it has data, and then also the width and the height and some offsets and stuff like that, some values. So we're interested in data right here in the uh, layers. So we're going to do this. We're going to say, we're going to loop through all the layer. So for i layer in i pairs self dot layers. And now we want to loop through each tile. So we're going to do this. So this is a single dimensional array, but it's a lot easier to work with if we loop through it like it is a two dimensional array and then just get the index. So to do that, we're going to say, for y is equal to zero, y, uh, and we're going to go to self dot layers, or sorry, we're going to go to layer dot height, and then we're going to do, and we need to remember to subtract one right here, so it goes from zero to layer height minus one. Now we're going to do the same thing for x, and we're going to be using the layer width. And now we want to get the 1D, one dimensional index. And to do that, we're going to say uh, index is equal to x plus y times layer dot width. Now, of course, we want to take all this and add one since uh, tables in Lua are starting indexes at one. So this is starting index zero, and we want to add one to that to make that work. So how this works is um, if you think about it, x right here corresponds to right here, right? Uh, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, y, of course, is right here. So if we want to get to this index, we have to multiply by the width of the array to be able to get down to the y coordinates right there. And that's what we're doing right here. Now, what we want to do is get the tile ID. So we're going to name it TID. And that is in layer data. We're going to pass an index. Now, this uh, it, 0 basically says there's no tile. Um, so we want to check if it is equal to zero. So we're going to say if t, uh, TID is not equal to zero, then, so if there's an actual tile right there, we want to render that tile. And we're going to say TID is equal to TID minus one. Or better yet, we're going to say local tile or quad is equal to layer, uh, just a second. Oh, sorry, local quad is equal to self.quads. This is the uh, the quads that we generated, TID, and we have to subtract one from it. Actually, no, we don't because it's one indexed. Sorry, I spaced there for a second. All right, cool. So now we have enough data. Let me just make sure this uh, doesn't crash, and it doesn't, so we're running right here. We can actually do some rendering, but first off, we want to load the image, and we're going to load the image from the tile set right here. So we're going to do a, uh, we're going to say, create a new field, we're going to say image, sorry, let me put it down here, image, there we go, is equal to love.graphics new image, or is it load image, just a second, let me just double, double check, I forgot how, yeah, okay, so it's new image. All right, so new image, and we're going to pass in the path of the image. So tile set dot uh, image, just like that. So now we got an image, and now let's actually draw out the quad. Whoops. Uh, let's get the x and y coordinates so of the uh, of where we're going to actually render this thing. So the x is equal to x times the size of a tile. So we're going to say tile. Uh, let me go up here. Let me uh, say self dot or map that tile set is equal to tile set, just so we have access to it down here. So it's equal to self dot tile set dot tile width, and we're going to do the same thing for y. And instead of width, we're going to change that to height, just like that. All right, so let's actually do the draw. So we're going to do love dot Graphics that draw. The first one is the image, so that's self dot image. Second one is the quad, and then the x and y location right there. All right, so let's cross our fingers, and hopefully this uh, this works. All right, so uh, image data expected got nil. Oh, okay, so we must have not have a, we must have not made a, had a correct path or something like that. Oh, okay. 
that needs to be spelled correctly. All right, cool. So as you can see, we have a tile map rendering right here. Uh, this was very simple. In uh, the future episodes, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be having animated tile maps. We're also going to be doing tiling, uh, tile culling so that tiles that are rendered off screen aren't actually being drawn, just to save performance and all that. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Um, and all the source code will be linked below. And let me just show you the uh, repository right here. So I have this repository called love to teach tutorial series. And um, inside there, uh, oh, I need to refresh that. Sorry, let me go back um, back to repositories, love to uh, 2D tutorial series. All right, so in here, there'll be a folder called tiled. And this is where all the source, co source code for today is. And I'll leave a link to this in the description below. Um, I also want to mention that I have a Patreon now. Uh, if you guys want to support the channel, uh, I could, yeah, that would be fantastic. So, yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next episode, and uh, yeah, have a good day.